We start with a simple bowling. Now we add the Yosemite finish in order to keep the bowling from opening. If we now open the Yosemite finish, we can see that the original bowling is still there. So let's do it again and see what happens this time. Again the Yosemite finish. Opening the Yosemite finish. And we can see that we have no bowling underneath. In fact, we have a nut that opens up under load. So what happened here actually? Let's have a closer look. In order for our bowling to work, we have to make sure that this rope here, which is marked with rubber bands, goes through this ring and stays inside of it. Now let's make the Yosemite finish again and tighten the rope by pulling on the free end first. Right there, the marked rope slid up and through the ring and opened the bowling we had before. It's now just lying on the ring and it doesn't pass through the ring. This is what opens the bowling. This raises the question, if the bowling is open, what do we have here? The free end of the rope makes a simple figure 8. The main rope makes what seems to be a loop through the figure 8, but it's not a real loop. If you fall, the main rope can straighten up, leaving this mess around it. Let's simplify this a bit. And as you can see, the Yosemite bowling is nothing more than a simple figure 8 with the main rope passing through it. This can always happen when you tie the Yosemite bowling. It doesn't necessarily happen every time, but you don't really need to do something wrong for it to happen.